Hi, for this recording, I'm going to look at question 6a. Solve the following system of linear equation x plus 4y minus 2z equal 3, 2x plus 3y plus z equal to 11. To understand this question, this is actually finding the intersection of two planes. The first equation, x plus 4y minus 2z equal to 3, is a plane in a three dimensional space. 2x plus 3y plus z equal 11 is a plane in a three dimensional space. The intersection, if any, will be a straight line in the three dimensional space. And we solve this system equation, we actually find the intersection. So to solve this intersection, we are going to do some rule operation. So I'll write down the augmented metric. Now I'm going to say take the first row times minus 2. Then add to the second row. And this will give me first row, let me unchange. However, the second row becomes zero here, then minus 8 plus 3 get minus 5, then 4 plus 1 get 5, minus 6 plus 11. You get 5. Now, I multiply the second row by minus 1. This will give me 1, 4, minus 2, 3, 0, 5, minus 5, minus 5. And then continue to multiply second row by 1 over 5. Get 1, 4, minus 2, 3. And 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1. And in order to make a 0 above the leading one, so I want to take the second row, the minus 4, add to the first row. So I take the second row times minus 4 add to the first row I'll get a metric 0, 1, minus 1, minus 1 in the second row and the first row becomes 1, 0 4 minus 2 is 2 4 plus 3 equals 7 and this is the row reduced form really and from this equation, we know that x plus 2z equals 7, y minus z equals to minus 1. The first equation tells us this. And the second equation tells us y minus z equals minus 1. In any case, since z don't have a leading one, so z is free. Therefore, the solution of a system equation, if you try to look at them, you will find that if a solution consists of x, y, z, then x is actually 7 minus 2z from the first equation. Alright, from the first equation, x equal to 7 minus 2z, and y equal to z minus 1, and z is free, where z is any real number. So, this is the equation of the straight line formed by the intersection of the two planes. Now I'm going to show you how to use a calculator to solve this system equation. So I have my calculator with me. I'm going to solve this equation. So now I'm in the run mode. So I press F1 for metric. Then enter execute A. So this A has two row and four column. Press I'm going to enter the entry one, four, 
minus 2, 3 for the first row. And second row, 2, 3, 1, 11. After I finish, I'm going to do some row operations. So press F1 for row operation. Now I'm going to multiply the first row with minus 2, add to the second row. So I press F3, minus 2, times the first row, add to the second row. Execute. And now I'm going to multiply the second row by minus 1 over 5 to create a leading one. So F2, multiply minus 1 over 5. Then to the second row. Execute. Now I have a leading one in the second row. Then what I'm going to do now is multiply the second row by minus 4. Add to the first row. So I press F3, minus 4, multiply to the second row, add to the first row. Execute. And now I have the row reduced form. From here, I get x plus 2z equals 7, y minus z equals to minus 1, which agree with the calculation I have. That's the end of the recording.